エロエロエロ,エロ Welcome back. Young nigga, I got old cats spazzing on their ass. I got a product on my whole ass. Got my What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. If it's your first time coming to my channel, then just know y o u in for an event. The most electrifying. YouTube channel on YouTube, the best story time teller that is Nikki Glamour, Olivia Cara, and all those story time tellers ain't got nothing on me. And if you want proof, then go to my channel, go on my story time playlist, and spend hours enjoying yourself, laughing, crying of all the story times I ever uploaded. And you won't have a good time. I promise you that. I promise you. That, bro. But today we're gonna go straight to it. No time to converse. Number from the old western, like wide earth. Remember to subscribe. Let's go straight to it. Today's story time, I'm gonna talk about my current manager. Now, the job I'm at, I love working there. I love the people I work with. This is the first kind of job, like, you kind of love everybody that you're working with. Cool personalities, different personalities. Like, you could shout out to、uh, Ariella, Nanubia. Kakayo, Naila, <laughs> Miss, 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 Miss Val, all the people, all the, but my manager, she wasn't ready to be a manager. Now, let me tell you,、um, weeks ago, and this is a minute, she basically like, so our goal every day is to read 75 dials, because I work at a call center, work for St. Green Bank, and basically like,、um, Our goal as messaging specialists is to reach 75 dials. 75 dials every day, three hours of talk time, right? Right. So it was just one Monday where everybody came in, everybody was filling in. It was like she wasn't here. She had meetings to go to. She mostly g o to these meetings every Monday. But you know, when your manager's not here, everyone will act up. It's a good thing, but we w a s all vibing, all chilling. I mean, everybody was just like, Everybody was just in their 30s. It was late in the afternoon. Everybody just had 30 dials. Remember, our goal every day is 75. And we talk about late afternoon where everybody's almost about ready to go home and everybody in their 30 dials. That means they 40. Like, it was a hard, it was basically like a slow day. But everybody was just like, we had a good time, was chilling, but we knew the repercussions. I already seen what happened next coming, but basically, like, Other people might have thought, oh, she might just like scream at us, yell at us, and it was back to the old thing. But I already seen what's going to happen next coming. I already seen it. Because me and、um, Naila, we was basically talking about it. We said, when she, because like, because like,、um, by the time it was like, I think 4 p.m., if you look around, it was just me and Naila left. Like everybody else either went home, went to the store. Everybody just like called it a day. Like, no, no, mostly everybody didn't reach their goals. But we all knew when CG comes, like when my manager CG comes back to, when my manager comes back tomorrow, it's g o n n a be hell to pay. And I knew exactly what she planned on doing. Like I just predicted, I just knew. People thought it was g o n n a be light, but I knew it was g o n n a be heavy. So、um, the other manager in the other department, she came in and she, was, she had、uh, our manager on speaker. And then she was like, and she told her everything. She said how everybody left early. She looked on the dashboard. Nobody reached the goal. Only two people left. She said, my name, she said, CJ and、um, Naila. And basically she said, but everybody else is gone. And it's just only like 350, she was saying shit like that. And then she,、uh, our manager was just screaming over the phone. And you, you could hear her. And then、um, the manager from the other department said, I know you're mad, you're mad, et cetera. Next day came. She came in happy though, the next day. I knew she was pissed, but she came in happy. She greeted everybody. She said, I'll be back. She left, came back in the room. And then she's basically like, she had, she had a call a huddle. It's like a small meeting when she talked to all of us in messaging. And then basically she told us, Keith,、um, the director of our program, basically he sits in the back in our room. He don't sit with the other department. He sits in back in our room and he was monitoring every day. On everything on Monday. He just didn't say nothing. Imagine the director in the room, everybody back there, and nobody doing shit, mostly talking. And then he don't just say nothing. He just go, oh my God, that was the kind of guy he is. 
But when our manager started her meeting of how it was unacceptable what we did yesterday, how she was pissed, on, she was uh, disappointing us, all of that, he came in and said, like, he saw all the mess that was going on. He didn't say nothing, but it was more like it was unacceptable, all that shit. So basically, it was more like, okay. So um, what she did, she said, so now overtime is done with. She can't, uh, turned overtime. She canceled overtime. She said, for now on, don't even um, call her when you're going to be late. Call the, um, there's a, a toll, a toll free number to call to basically call them and tell them you're going to be late. And then she said, text her. So she wants to do extra now instead of just telling her and then we're good. She basically said, call them. Then the third punishment, she said, everybody's seats are switched. <sighs> and she didn't know that was the most high tension thing she could have done in this situation. Now, like, the change the seat, I seen that coming too. But I just felt like, okay, she changed the seats. And after she changed the seat, she separated a lot of people. A lot of people was kind of pissed off. The environment was kind of like fire. Like, it was burning That it was burning up. Now, your job as a manager was to, okay, it's time to have a meeting. Because I can't just switch these seats, do all these big changes, like discipline, uh, have that talk, and not have some type of meeting. Because as a manager, I would have basically had a meeting. Have a meeting, talk about it, and basically tell everybody, like, where their minds at, how they feel, things like that. They Everybody could, like, unleash on you. As a manager, I want all your anger, like, face to me. Because as a manager, now I could, like, respond and see how everybody minds that mindset. Because as a manager, I want y'all mindset to be focused. I want y'all to be comfortable. I want y'all to be happy. But I also, I also want y'all to stay focused and be at y'all work. But instead, what she did was more like she did the changes, changed the seats, and then it was more like deal with it. Like, she didn't have no type of meeting. It was just not like that. And after that, everything, the tides changed. She came more, she came more unbearable to basically, like, basically be in the room with and things like that. Not, not, not for me, per se, but for others. I mean, for me, it was more like I was annoyed because I was comfortable where I was saying that. I felt like I always did my work. I always did my job. And just one day, one day, now there's a couple of Mondays we effed up. But we always bounce back, and every and district always say messaging is the best when it comes to delivering. Like their percentage across the board is great. Now, how are we getting so much compliments from district, and, and we get some type of punishment like that? Isn't the punishment supposed to be like okay? There won't be any talking to you like for a while, things like that. But it just felt like you did the punishment, and then you just they have no type of meeting, no type of like let me see where everybody minds at, no type of everybody express how you feel. It was more like deal with it. And that's how I feel like it was. It was just like deal with it and then nothing else. And then like shit changed. I mean, there was a girl named, um, I forgot her name. Erin. Mm, yeah. Erin. Her name was Erin. She just got here like probably two weeks prior. She left. Then there was a girl named Martha. Martha was like, I, I found a better job. Like I'd rather she left. So Martha left, Erin left. It was more like no one wanted to deal with this mess anymore things like that. And our manager was just so like, when people need help and go to her, she gets kind of annoyed and pissed off. And it's more like, oh, I don't know. And things like that. Like, oh, try to figure it out. Things like that. She could never solve some things that a manager has to know. She doesn't solve it. And then, let me just say, like, on Friday, right? Which was, yeah, on Friday. On Friday, I came in and I went straight to it. And Fridays, I don't play. Like Fridays, I always, everybody know I'm competitive on Friday. Like I always want to be number one. So I came in, I'm, I always try to do a hundred dollars or more on Fridays. So I came in, I was killing shit, killing shit on Friday, killing shit. Then we had a, we had a meeting, um, um, a whole synchrony bank, like every department meeting, the director wanted to speak and he told us how, District is coming, people from Arizona, they're all going to come and going to be in the building and don't embarrass him. He had a long meeting. After that meeting, then we had to go eat macaroni because of the competition between uh, Naila and uh, Miss Val to see who could cook the best macaroni. I chose Naila. Her macaroni was, was great. All of that happened, but I still got back, still kept working. She like, I was at the top of the dashboard 
So I was like top three, top three, and went in Dallas. So at three, let's just say I leave at four thirty on Fridays. It was like three fifty five, three fifty five. I'm at sixty dials. I could do fifteen in, in like uh, in like um in thirty five minutes. That's easy for me. But it's more like then she called. She told us Naila because me and Naila was working on the campaign. She told us, stop. He said we just got email. They want y'all to stop working on it. Right, right. She told me stop. She called us up, told us what campaign we want. We say it don't matter to us if it's just one call we have to do. Because some campaigns you got to do three calls, others you got to do one. We said we wanted the one, uh, any one we one because we don't want to keep our clients. If we don't find them today, we got to call them tomorrow. If we don't find them tomorrow, we got to call them. You basically have to have three attempts. Each, some campaigns have three attempts, some have one. You like the one attempt one because if you don't find them any like that, you just send the email, take them out your, your campaign, and move on. You just move on like I like that one. Me and I said we wanted one. She gave us a three attempt one. But that whole process, like by the time we left her, it was like probably like four o'clock. It was four o'clock. Remember, mind you, I leave at 430. She said she's about to send us the new campaign. She's about to send us the new campaign. Me and Naila, we waited. Naila went out, came back. I said, we still didn't get the new campaign. Because I still see the old campaign. Waiting, waiting. They're finally at 421. Remember, I leave at 430. 421, Naila tells me, oh, she sent it. I'm like, really? I still don't see it. I just refreshed. He said, scroll down. I scroll down. I see all the new campaigns. Mind you, she didn't tell us shit. She could have said, Naila, uh, uh, CJ, I, I just sent y'all a new campaign. Okay, and I could get straight back into it and reach my 75. She don't say shit. 421, Naila have to tell me, oh, she did send the campaign. I'm like, oh, shit, for real? And then we scroll up, we found it. Then 430 comes. I mean, by that time, when she told me it was 425, I'm like, I'm, I can't do nothing about it. By that time, I'm leaving. I said, oh, bye, manager. Tell my manager bye. Then she's like this. Oh, let me see your dials. She said, refresh. I told her the same thing. Then she's like this, like, oh, oh, um, we, uh, we can't keep doing this. You, how you ain't reach your, 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 your talk time? Didn't you just call us up at 355? Then you told us you was going to send us some more new campaigns in two minutes. Then you send it and don't even tell us you send it. Like, what type of manager? Oh, my goodness. Then she want to blame you and basically say, oh, you were supposed to, like, like, how you don't reach your goal? She said, you can't keep on making excuses. I'm not making excuses. You're making it possible to make excuses because you're not doing things right. You're not doing it right. If you were doing it right, I wouldn't be able to tell excuses. Every time my things are correct, I have the campaigns in front of me, I always reach goal. But if something happened, either we're having a company shit or anything like that, that's when I'll reach goal. But she got to admit, like, I reach goal when everything's in order and place. Then she went basically said, oh, if you leave without reaching goal, just know you're going to face disciplinary action on Monday. I'm looking at her like, what the fuck, bro? I'm out. It's Friday. I'm out. And she's like, like it's, just, it's just, you're dealing with a manager that don't know how to manage and don't know. She don't know. Um, let, me, let, me, let me, how to say this? How to deal with people. I would say that. Because if you knew how to deal with people, you knew how a man is supposed to know how to deal with different personalities and deal with different situations. Think clearly and have a response for everything. If you don't have a response, then basically try to uh, make your, your the people's under you. Because you a, a great manager knows how to learn from others too. She won't say that. She just be like, "Oh, I'll just send you a new one." She like it's just like you could tell it's amateur hour. She just got here and she got a lot to learn. But then she wants to say she's going to talk to me and um, she's going to talk to me on Monday. Oh, bro. Which is today. Today's Monday. And she want to talk to me. She talked to me. But that fun night shit, like, I don't got time for that shit. I'm just saying, like, you see how frustrating it is when you got to deal with amateur hour? <sighs> That's just the shit it is. But it's your man, C to J to C. Y'all know what to do. Like, subscribe, and comment. You can't like and not comment. And you can't comment and not subscribe. You got to do all three. Hit the bell, too, so you get all the notification when I upload. And it's your man, C to J to C. And I'm out, man. Be easy.